Hello dear students, let's do this question and this is taken from class 10 chapter triangles and this is exercise 6.5 question number 7. Question is prove that the sum of the squares of the sides of a rhombus is equal to the sum of the squares of its diagonals. So in this question one rhombus is given and we need to prove that sum of the squares of its sides it's equal to sum of the squares of its diagonals. So first of all draw the figure and understand the statement. So suppose that this is a given rhombus. A rhombus you know the property of rhombus. Rhombus is a parallelogram in which one pair of adjacent side is equal. That is its definition but what are its properties? I tell you if it is rhombus then this thing you should keep in your mind that all sides will be equal. Okay, all sides will be equal and diagonals will be bisecting at right angle. So suppose diagonals intersecting, bisecting at O, it means AO is equal to OC and that 2 is equal to half of AC and DO is equal to BO and that 2 is equal to half of BD. So this is rhombus property and one more thing, diagonals bisect at right angle so this is a 90 degree angle in between right so these are the properties of rhombus again i tell you what are the properties of rhombus number one all sides are equal okay and diagonal bisect each other but at right angle so this thing if you know then we can do this question very easily so in this question what we need to prove that sum of the squares of its sides means sides k square ka sum so that is AB square plus BC square plus CD square plus AD square is equal to square of its diagonal, sum of the squares of its diagonal. It means is equal to, we have to prove that AC square plus BD square. So very easy question, small question it is, don't worry. So let's start the question. First of all, right, we will write the given. So it's written that let in figure ABCD is given a rhombus, right? So we have to prove that sum of the squares of the sides that is ab square plus bc square plus cd square plus da square is equal to sum of the squares of its diagonals that is ac square plus bd square this thing we have to prove and now we'll write first of all the properties of this rhombus so we'll write uh, since all sides of rhombus are equal all sides of rhombus are equal and diagonals bisect at right angles diagonals bisect means mid pe kaatna ao is equal to oc bo is equal to od so diagonals bisect at 90 degree so it means we have ab is equal to bc is equal to cd is equal to da here with us suppose this is number one and second thing is with us that AO is equal to CO that is equal to half of AC and third thing is BO is equal to OD that is half of BD so these things we will be using in this question for solving this now first of all we will use Pythagoras theorem in right angle triangle AOB because this is 90 degree so this is right angle triangle so we'll write in triangle AOB okay by Pythagoras theorem okay so what is this this is hypotenuse so it becomes AB square is equal to OA square plus OB square so now I can write OA as half of AC because I wrote here also OA as half of AC so it is AC over 2 square and OB as half of BD so this is only question is done now very less is left now see what is there now AB square is equal to now AC over 2 square is AC square over 4 and BD over 2 means BD square over 4 right take LCM now and LCM is 4 only here so what is left AC square plus BD square 
now you can do cross multiply 4 will come here so 4 a b square is equal to a c square plus b d square and whatever we have to prove here we have got this right hand side of the proved okay see here left hand side has come same thing same thing 4 a b square we will write 4 a b square as a b square plus a b square plus a b square plus a b square why because this is 4 a b square i can spread this way also and our question is done now because you know all sides are equal so a b square and this a b i'll write b c because both are equal and this a b i'll write c d because both are equal and this a b i'll write d a because both are equal all sides are equal so hence this question is proved so very simple it is thanks for watching